Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul in Buffalo today doing her part to help fight heroin and opioid abuse in western New York and across New York State. This is just one of several forums Hochul is taking part in to help highlight new legislation that is aimed at curbing the growing epidemic. She's also trying to get feedback from people who are on the front lines treating addiction. Erie County, not the only local area looking for help in gaining control of this epidemic. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley is in Niagara County tonight with more on that part of the story. But the numbers tell a story in Niagara County that we need help. Just last week, we saw a good example of what Niagara County law enforcement are up against as they fight the war on drugs. Raiding a Niagara Falls house, a SWAT team member shot the main suspect when he was seen in possession of an AK-47 style rifle. $2,000, cocaine, heroin, and suspected pain pills were confiscated. And this is not an isolated incident. We did the search warrant uh, today and that convicted felon had three guns in his house. The opioid epidemic has fueled a big increase in Niagara County drug trafficking. We've probably done upwards of 10 search warrants in just the last two weeks here in Niagara County. Um, we just keep fighting the fight. Drug use is growing among kids and in rural areas, with opioid overdose-related emergency room visits tripling since 2011. Bend overdoses myself. These are, you know, your suburban, top of their class, Athlete, athletes at local high schools that are overdosing. And during Operation Lockjaw in 2015, law enforcement found drug dealers in Lockport had connections to international crime rings. And that was one of the biggest cases in the country. That case went almost all the way up to El Chapo in Mexico. That's why Niagara County has now applied to be designated as a federal high intensity drug trafficking area. It's a designation you don't want to have, but it's a designation that we applied to get. A designation that would provide more resources, better coordination and strategies with other federal, state and local agencies, all for the purpose of attacking the illegal supply of Niagara County drugs. You know, I love taking the big dealers down uh, that are poisoning these kids and killing these kids. Uh, it's nice to be able to sit at my desk for once, make a phone call to a parent and say, hey, that person that supplied your child is now locked up. Niagara County is still waiting to find out if they will be approved for the special designation, but the sheriff said he is hoping that it will come through before the year is out. In Niagara County, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ed. Happening right now, we are